I'm Rashid Santos uh, from Manila, Philippines. I'm 36 years old. I am a former Protestant born-again Christian. I attended church activities. I go, uh, I go with them in missionary, missionary works until the time that I devoted myself and I enrolled in a World Bible School until I found out that the Bible that I am reading, because I am not a typical born-again Christian, because I have more than 46 different Bibles, different versions of the Bibles at home, in my, in my home. Uh, I made a thorough research about the Bible, and I asked myself, if this is the Word of God, why it is so many different translations? By the grace and mercy of God, I opened the, Philipp uh, te the telephone directory. When I open it, because in the, in the Philippines, we have a, a department or agency in the Philippines, a government agency, which named Office on Muslim Affairs. I opened that directory, then I searched, then I called that telephone number, then I asked, I want to, to know more about Islam. And you know what? I went there. And it, because I'm scared, in reality, I'm scared with Muslims because, you know, the issue about terrorism, about anything negative. And then I went there. When I arrived, they welcomed me. And they offered drinks, they offered snacks, everything. I saw one uh, Jordanian brother, and he explained to me Islam. And you know what? I debated with that guy. I debated with that Jordanian. I told him about their belief because I am a born again Christian. I don't know about Islam fully. I don't know. What only I read in the book, that's what I know. I debated with him. But I am wondering, what, whenever he, he, uh, he gave question on me, I cannot answer it properly. And I am saying that it's just only a mystery. Therefore, he is saying that if it is a mystery, why God will punish human being if he is hiding in mystery? Therefore, he is, even me. No, this is what I'm thinking right now. I will complain to God if in case he will punish me in the hereafter because he is hiding as a mystery. Maybe I will complain, oh God, why you will punish me? You're hiding in mystery, I didn't know you. And you know what? I end up, I cannot answer all his questions until suddenly I declared to myself that this is the right religion because whatever he is saying is true. He is not lying. And everything becomes open to me. My mind, my, my, my heart, by the grace and mercy of God, he guided me. On that day, I accepted Islam as my religion and way of life. Some of my relatives, they said, you know, if your father is still alive, maybe he will become angry with you. But I answered them, no, maybe if in case he is alive, maybe I invited him also to Islam. Because I will not become like this. Who am I now? Not because of him. I didn't change my citizenship. Because some people, maybe they think that if you become Muslim, you accept, you, you, you change your citizenship. No, it's not like that. I didn't change my citizenship. I am still a Filipino, 100% Filipino, and I am proud of it. I, I feel blessed. You know why? Because I don't have questions at all. In regards to belief in God, no question. In regards to the authenticity of the scripture, no problem. Everything is there. And everything is, everything is with answer. Face your fears, accept it, expose yourself, and don't delay the acceptance of Islam.